Windmill Mill friends, it's Kevin with TexasWindmills.com. Can you see me on the tower? That's me way down here. Hey, today we're going to be talking about the largest windmill that Air Motor Company ever made, the big 20-footer. So hang on, we're talking big windmills at TexasWindmills.com. Well, we all know the standard 8-foot windmill on the 27-foot tower, but today we're talking about that big one, the 20-footer. So it's 20 foot across from blade to blade on the tip. Hey, that's me down there waving my hat. Can you see me? These things are huge. And boy, you feel small until you get right up next to them. Most people have never been on a 20-footer. You can fly your drone up and look at it, but there's nothing like being on it. As my friend says, don't bring your dental tools. Bring your sledgehammer and your big monkey wrench. Because boy, it's a big windmill. Air Motor referred to it as the king of them all. Hey, here I am. You can see me in rural China and then in Wuhan, China with a big 20-footer. Once in a while, you'll see them on wooden towers, but not very often. So here's the big 20-footer. Some numbers for you. I'm not going to read these all. They're on your screen, but I will say this. The windmill alone weighs 5,000 pounds. Gosh, it's big. So Air Motor Company introduced this windmill in the 30s. They kept it in, pretty much in production, but not a whole lot of them were made. Uh, they stopped about 1964 or so when Air Motor left Chicago. I wonder how many people drive by this big 20-foot windmill from the 40s, maybe the 50s or so. It's on Interstate 80. Thousands of people drive by it every day and don't realize they're looking at one of the largest windmills around, certainly the largest air motor ever made, and a really important part of history in windmilling. Here's some tips to help you know if the windmill you're looking at is a 20-footer. See that round platform that air motor made? And there is the ladder. The famous ladder. Oh my gosh. Makes my heart just beat looking at the thing. Until you've been up on it, you really have no idea of what it's like to go through that trap door on the platform and then go up the ladder to heaven or you know where. It's scary. They also have a worm drive crank and these heavy, heavy plates that go to the bottom of it. The other feature that they only found on the 20 foot is a C channel on the wheel band. When you work on big windmills, especially 20-footer, it's really important to rig it correctly. So let me show you. We rig it, we're picking it up by the tail, lifting it and rotating it over with another line, the main line, on the hoop. One goes up, one goes down. It takes a really smooth crane operator to rotate that windmill around. Yes, we still make 20-footers, but here I am with a 16. It's big enough. My advice to everybody is, Stay with a 16 if you want a big one, because there's nothing, nothing in the world like that big, giant 20-foot windmill and all the extra energy that goes into putting one together and getting it in place. It's scary. But whatever you do, don't be this guy. You anchor, anchor, anchor your windmill. Deep holes, lots of concrete. It's so important to a windmill. And I'm Kevin with TexasWindmills.com, and if you know a location of a 20-footer, Put it in the comments below.